Man, it's November already. It feels like it was March yesterday. Anyway, time is flying and we gotta prepare ourselves for 2026. And we're gonna do that with these five editing tricks in Adobe Premiere Pro. Trick number one. A creative way to turn your horizontal videos vertical. That's by mirroring it. To do this, you want to import your clip into a vertical sequence. Don't scale it up yet. First, we're going to hold down Alt and duplicate our clip one track up. Then head over to the effects library and find the vertical flip effect. Then grab it and drag it to your duplicate. There you go. Now with that clip selected, head over to the effect controls and in here, adjust the position until the two clips align beautifully. That looks amazing. Now go back to the timeline and in here, here, select both of your clips and right click them. Then choose Nest. Give it a name, for example Mirror. And then click on OK. Next select the nested sequence and go back to the effect controls. Now it's time to scale up and reposition your video so it fits your frame. There you go. Trick number two. Creating captions with the updated text panel. Honestly I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> But who knows, maybe they improved it. So I have a short clip in here from my channel Resolve Basics. And no, that's not a joke. Link below. I want to transcribe it and add subtitles. So first you need to go to the transcript tab and in here press the transcribe button. Let it do its thing. The clip is fairly short so it shouldn't take long. Now it does make a lot of mistakes as you can see. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I don't like this. To adjust these mistakes simply double click the transcript and then you can correct it. This shouldn't be happening but anyway. Let's click the CC button to create captions. In here you can choose a lot of settings. I suggest you decrease the maximum length and the duration. Then for the lines, I set it to single and click on create captions. Now once it's done, you have these boring default captions you see on television. Luckily you can still style them. You do have to select them first and then go to the window menu on top. From here, open up the properties panel and now you have all the settings necessary to customize your captions. But now they're still not animated. And of course you can't directly animate your captions in Premiere. You first have to select them, then go to the graphics and titles menu and then convert convert them from a caption layer to a graphic layer and now you can create animations. But honestly, I don't use this. It, it's so slow and it doesn't work well. I do have a tool that works so much better. Submagic. This tool will add animated captions to your video and you can even add generated b-rolls from Sora and so much more. So here I'm in my dashboard. I simply click generate captions and upload my video. It will then automatically detect the spoken language. When I'm done, I click generate captions, wait a few seconds and there you go. Next you can see these presets. As usual I use my favorite one which is Leon. This one is the best look. They add new presets constantly by the way. I can adjust the position and scale so it fits my video. Or you can change the color if you'd like. Editing captions is easy too. Because you don't have to. It's super accurate. If it does make a mistake, you can just adjust it in here. Adding b-roll can be done here as well. In the AI b-roll tab, you can simply type in whatever shot you need and Submagic will generate it using Sora. I mean, how awesome is that? When I'm done, I click export and choose my quality settings. In the meantime, you can even generate a caption with hashtags that fits your video. Now besides captions, you can also use magic clips. This will turn one long video into multiple shorts. It automatically detects potential viral clips, which is super useful. I'll leave a link down below where you can try Submagic for free or use the code Premier Basics for 10% off. Thank you Submagic so much for sponsoring this video. Time for trick number three, editing music to the beat. And this is one of my personal editing tricks. So pay attention. All right, here you can see a bunch of assets and clips. They're all space videos. And in my timeline, I have a cinematic song for a movie trailer. Now I wanna make my video breathe and let me show you how I do that. So first I wanna hit play and on every beat, press M on your keyboard to place a marker. Keep doing that throughout the entire song. As you can see, all these markers on top appeared. This is essentially the heartbeat of your song that you just tracked. Now let me zoom in on my markers a little and there you go. Now if I pick one of my clips in the project panel and drag it into the timeline, I make sure to always snap my clips against a marker. That way the video always cuts to another shot on the beat. It makes the video and the music work together and it will feel natural. Of course you can skip a beat or a marker to make a clip play longer of course. And when you're done you'll have something amazing like this.
editing trick number four, tracking a face and making sure it sticks to the camera. So here I have a runner and I want the camera to stick to her face. To do that, we're going to After Effects. In here, make sure your clip is selected in the timeline and then go to the Tracker panel. In here, choose Stabilize Motion. This will open up the Layer panel and a tracking point will appear. You can click and drag it to the thing that you want to track, in our case the runner's face. The bigger this is, the longer it will take, but sometimes you just have to make a large selection if you want the tracking to be accurate. Next, click on the Track Forward button and wait until After Effects is done. Next, click on Apply. Then in this little window, click on OK. Now as you can see, your video will wiggle and move all over the place. But our face is now stuck to the camera, which is exactly what we want. The only thing left to do is to scale up the video and reposition it. And that is to get rid of the black bars, of course. And there you go, that looks super cool. Trick number five, creating a cool social media logo animation. For this one, make sure Premiere is up to date. All right, so first line up your logos in the timeline, like this. Then make sure they're all selected and go to the Film Impact dashboard. If you haven't updated Premiere, you won't see this. Anyway, on the left, find the animation page. In here, you'll find all kind of animations. This time, pick the block motion effect and then choose apply. Now back in the timeline, you can already see the animations apply to your logos. Looks good, but if you want to adjust the speed of the animation, click and drag the animations in between the clips to make them play faster or slower. You can even customize this animation. All you have to do is select it and head over to the effect controls. In here, you can do a lot, real. But if you want to change the direction of the animation, for example, simply find the angle property and set it to 90 or something else. And now if we play it back, we can see that it turns from another direction. Cool, isn't it? Anyway, if you want to learn how to make your videos look cinematic, click the video right here on my left to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.